All right, we will uh, begin with uh, opening thoughts from Coach Lucia. Don? Well, first, I'd like to congratulate uh, Coach Bennett and their whole staff and, and their team. Um, very, very deserving of uh, being national champions. Uh, kind of looked at the end of the year that uh, there was kind of three teams that were BC and Minnesota and Union that were right at the top most of the year. And uh, Union beat BC and Minnesota back to back, and they certainly earned uh, their, their national title. Uh, outstanding team. Um, I thought we came out and had really good jump. I thought we had great energy. Um, I'm not sure the, the mental part of our game matched the, the physical part. Um, we, we made a few mistakes tonight that uh, we don't normally make. Uh, the game probably got away from us in that little three or four minute stretch uh, in the end of the first period when they scored the three goals. Um, and again, I think some of that was just trying too hard and uh, trying to do somebody else's job. But. You know, that's going to happen in a game of this magnitude. I couldn't be more proud of our, our kids uh, for the year they had uh, coming in. I certainly probably wouldn't have thought we'd be here on the last day of the year. Um, but uh, this was, and I told them in the locker room, this was one of the most enjoyable years I've had coaching. Great group of kids. Um, they, they worked every day. Their, their play was consistent from start to finish. And I'm just, I'm sad to see it end. Uh, this is one of those years you could keep coaching for another month or two just to be around a great group of guys. Okay, uh, thanks, Don. And uh, questions for the players? Yeah, we'll take your questions for the players first. I can't see. Okay, Paula, right here in front. Paula Weston from U.S. College Hockey Online. This is for either of the players. Can you talk about that three-minute span, that two-minute span toward the end of the first period? Justin? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, Coach kind of explained it well. It just got away from us. Um, you know, we hung out uh, our goalie to dry. You know, he's been our our best player all year. And, you know, for us to put him through that was kind of disappointing. I think we just made mental mistakes. And, you know, I don't think you could look at anyone in our locker room and say they weren't physically trying their hardest. But mentally, I think uh made a few too many mistakes in that uh, segment. Travis, anything to add? Uh, uh, Justin said most of it. I just think uh just got away. I mean, we made mistakes that we haven't been making all year. and. Um, didn't really pick a great time to uh, to do it because there's uh, no uh, excuse for it today, and and there's no uh, another game where you can make up for it. So, all right. Further questions for the players? Somebody else had their hand up here. Behind somebody? Any other? You guys have anything else for the players? I can't tell in the back. Okay, Adam, right here. Um, Adam Kilman from NHL.com. When Hudson got that power play goal late, um, did you guys think we're still in it? We've still got a shot. There's still time left to play. And was the push just too much from them, or did you guys just not have anything left in the tank at that point? Travis? Uh, yeah, I definitely thought, uh, you know, if I uh, got to a six on five situation, I was confident we could uh, be able to put one in in the last minute. And, um, you know, once again, I think we made a mistake there. Uh, a turnover at the at their blue line and they uh, came down and got me a nice one-on-one -on -one play and ended up scoring. So it's, uh, you know, uh, once again, made uh, a lot of mental mistakes tonight. Okay, anything else? All right, guys, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Congratulations on a terrific season. And we'll finish with your questions for Coach Lucia right here in front. Thanks, Don. Jim Conley from U.S. College Hockey Online. You mentioned the mental, maybe not me mentally being there. Was there a fatigue mentally from? No, you know, when I say, me I mean, just you're trying to cover, you're trying to do too much. I mean, when we looked at some of those goals after the first period, it's just, you know, you're leaving your guy to go help out, like maybe a guy that doesn't need help. And, um, you know, Union's a good team. I mean, get, they're everything that they were advertised. We knew it going in. They were an outstanding team. Uh, when I watched them the regionals last weekend, I, I was very impressed with them. So, you know what? Some of it's them forcing you into those mistakes. So, um, like I said, when, when the, I thought we had great energy tonight. I, I thought we worked. Um, some of the pen, you know, we, we took a lot more penalties than we normally take. It, it was just the way the game was called tonight, and even the mental. I mean, the too many men on the ice late in the, you know, halfway through the third. It just you know, it, it, our guys tried. I mean, I, I'm no effort with their effort and, and how hard they want. Sometimes you want to win too hard, too bad, and, and then you start to chase rather than just play uh, your position. 
Um, but it was a great, uh, I thought Philly did a tremendous job as a venue. Uh, I thought we had a great atmosphere in the gate, in the building tonight, obviously close to union, it was a pro-union crowd, but it's not like you're used to, not used to that on the road in college hockey. Um, but I, I just thought it was a great environment um, for a national championship. And our guys kept battling. I mean, we, we, we had the lead, and then all of a sudden it's 4-2. Then we closed to make it 4-3 after two. And I thought, you know what, we're, now it's a one-shot game. But, you know, we made a mistake. Their guy did a nice job driving the net, and, you know, our D didn't move over. And they tipped one by Adam, and now you're chasing again. But then we had the power play to our guys' credit. They kept fighting and, and battling to the end. And, you're, you know, you hope at that point you can get a face-off in the offensive zone and, and call your timeout and, you know, try to, you know, make a play on a six on five. Um, but, you know, they did the job. And they closed it out. And, you know, like I said, I'm very deserving of national champions. In the back. No, no, in the back, guys. All the way in the back, thanks. No, no, you're, you're good, sorry. Uh, Sean Martin with the Albany Times Union. Coach, yesterday you talked about unions defensemen. I uh, hope you could comment on uh, their play, especially Goss Despair, both on the offensive side and especially on defense late in the game uh, to set up the play he made in his own zone to set up the sixth goal. Well, I mean, he's a special player. I, I, I helped out with the World Juniors two years ago out in Lake Placid, and, uh, you know, I had, I had heard he was a pretty good player, but I hadn't seen him. And, uh, boy, when we were out there, it's like, you know, this guy's a serious talent. And, uh, you know, he's a special player, and, and uh, he, he, he kind of controlled the game back there. I mean, from my vantage point, I thought he was the best player on the ice tonight and uh, made a nice play in the goal. Um, you know, it, it, with the long TV timeouts, a guy like you, I mean, he can play major minutes in a game like this and, and impact the game even more. Um, you know, they've got a lot of good players. That's why they're sitting with the national championship. Adam. Uh, yeah, Adam Kimmel from NHL.com. Don, I was going to ask you about Gossip Bear, but his offensive talents are, are pretty obvious. But can you talk about the way he is able to play in his own zone at, you know, not a big player but still able to – do what he can do? Well, I mean, he can defend with his feet. He's such a great skater that, uh, I mean, this day and age, you can still defend with your feet and your stick. Um, so, I mean, that's the strength of his game. And, and you know, he's not going to go, you know, be a big bruiser, but that, that you don't expect that from him. But his ability to get to a puck, get it up the rink, um, you know, initiates a lot of their offense. And you know what? You look at their numbers. I was looking at that uh, the last six weeks. I mean, they've been scoring four or five a night. Um, just about every game they play. I thought if you'd have told me going in that we would have scored four, I would have thought we would have won the game, but just not the way the game turned out tonight. Okay, right here. Don Metz, I'm Michigan USHO. I know we're talking about Gossip Spirit a lot, but is there anything from his game that you saw tonight that surprised you at all? No, no. I mean, he, he's just effortless the way he plays. I mean, he's a special player, and, you know, it's not – not often you see two All-American, first-team All-American defensemen on one team. And, I mean, they, they're a good team. They're four All-Americans, and they're deep throughout their lineup, and they know their roles well and obviously very well coached. And um, like I told Rick, enjoy it. That, the first one's always the best. Okay, right here in front. Mike and Ryan from the Minnesota Daily. Coach, you mentioned that uh, you thought your freshman players were playing a little tentative in that first game. What did you think about their contributions tonight, and what does that say about the future for your team? Well, I mean, the, we scored, the freshmen scored three of the goals tonight. And uh, uh, I'm just proud of our whole team. Uh, like I said, this was a great year for us. Um, disappointing, it always is when you lose your, your final game of the year. But to, to have the opportunity to play on this stage and and, and get the experience. And, you know, we owe a lot. It's not just the freshmen, though. I mean, our seniors led the way. Um, they've had tremendous years. I mean, Adam Adam gave us a great year. Um, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him during the course of the season. It was, you know, wasn't an easy game for him. Um, but uh, I just, I'm really proud of our group of kids. And like I mentioned earlier how much fun it was to coach this, this team. And for the freshmen, you know, that's part of the process that uh, you learn from. And, and hopefully they can take this as we begin next year and, and uh, take another step forward. But, uh, you know, a lot of them have had great years for us, and we wouldn't be in the position we're in without them. Okay, in the back. Coach Jonathan Tannenwald from Philly.com. You talked about some of the mental side, especially during the first period. Is there anything in that intermission that you would do or say to try to settle them down or just have to sort of let, let the rhythm of the game go as it is. Well, I know, I think we did. I mean, that's what we talked about is that, uh, you know, the mental part of the game. I, and I told them after the first, like, guys, you're physically, you're trying your rear off, but you're trying a little bit too hard. 
and and all of a sudden you start to, to chase instead of just doing your job and uh, you know whether that's nerves or um, or not you know who knows but uh, uh, you, you just can't you can't chase and uh, and that's what we did and and uh, you get yourself into trouble and then obviously that happened to us but you know I thought after the second we were in decent shape you know we came back it's four three I think Condon had a great opportunity didn't lift the puck and goaltender made a big pad save could have tied at four four late later in the period but so I thought we were in pretty good shape and you know then we made a mistake and gave gave them their fifth goal and you know that doesn't happen maybe it's four four with three minutes to go in the game coach thanks very much okay. appreciate it